it's your girl Tele. I know it'd be a while since I put some video. I know. But I got good news for you guys. If you're new to the family, welcome. If you're coming back, thank you for your support and love. And I hope I see you guys back. But today, I have a special, 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 special news for everyone. <laughs> I kept this for a while. For uh -huh. Eight months. Nine months. But I finally decided. I said, you know what? I, I should come on YouTube and share this. So if you guys want to know what I'm talking about, continue watching it. And hold on. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. Give this video a big thumbs up. Okay, guys. Let's get into this video. Last year, um, I decided to work on a project. Some of you guys might know me for Miss Giddy, you guys say, but I'm not talking about that video because it's I'm talking about something. So, um, after that, I decided, like, oh, I want to have my own t shirt. No, my thing, that's, that's my sister playing music. Um, so I wanted to decide to have my own clothing. Website, but I was like, nah, that's not for me. It didn't work out. So I did my own research and I contact this lady, Cindy Johnson. She's an editor and a publisher. So before I contact her, you know me, I did some FBI work to make sure that I like her work. And if her work is amazing, you know, I just gotta do some really FBI work. You know, you have to. Okay, you put in your time, your energy, and your money in part time and your time too. So, after that, I contacted her and said, Hey Cindy, my name is Tene. Um, I would like to um, so and so work on this project. Will you, will you like to work with me? She's like, Sure. So, after that, um, I sent her a drive of that paper and she sent it back to me. Some of you guys might wonder what people we talk about. So basically I published my book last year. <laughs> so I published my book. Um so I emailed her hey, saying that I would like to publish, I would like to write my own book. And then she was like, oh okay tell me your story. So I told her I said, oh I want this book to be about a based on a true story and how I overcome my speech impairment. Yes, I was born mute for a very, very long time. I'll get into that. But so she so after that we start working on my book for like eight months, seven months. I actually did my first drive at least three months on my own after three months I sent it to her by July I believe I signed my first contract to be an author like my first contract to be an author so you know that's a big step for a young age of your own author you know <laughs> you know what I'm saying but anyways so after that by September 4th 2018 I published my book and it's on Amazon so I'm about to show you guys my book do I from you <laughs> look at my book oh my god look at my book guys look at my book look at my book you're going out there you're going out there so anyways I will give you guys a little background about my book um, why I decide to punch my book? Who are these girls? Why did I end up choosing this this title, the subtitle, and so on and so on? So, and who designed them? Who designed my book? You know, I got get them a little juice for you guys. So, anyways, let me get to it. So, let me get closer. Um, this girl, I don't know if you guys can see. These two girls are my nieces. The one on the left is um, Fanta, and the one on the right is 
Khadija. So I choose this two little girl because it's based on a kids book, based on a children book. So I want a children. I want a kid on my book. I don't want no adult. I don't want no old people like teens. No, I want a kid. So I decided, you know what? Let me choose two of my niece. So I end up choosing them. And then this, the background is from Guinea Conakry. That's where I'm from. I was born and raised there, half raised there. Uh, this is the Guinea flag, red, yellow, and green. The book name is Mute No More. And the subtitle is How I Overcame My Species Primate and Became a Beetle Cray. I'm trying to zoom in for you. I'm trying to see if you guys can see it. See? Okay. So, I'm very, very grateful for the team that I work for because when I said I gave them a hard time this book, it was a very long journey because it was back and back telling them how I wanted, how Amazon want me to have my book, how they want me to set it up. It was a lot because we have, like, I, we literally have to, like, go back and forth, like, hey, I need this, I need that. So, I really appreciate that because they really really work on my time like I really love them so I get a little sorry again that's my sister again anyways um I will be hold on look at me I don't know people love this picture of me I, I look so old for, I look so old for my age look I know, but it look, it's so many people like this. I look like um thirty years old or um, more. <laughs> like yeah, I look like a auntie. <laughs> I look like an auntie. <laughs> oh my god! But um, I get a little um summaries on my book, and I tell you the way to show again and how much is it. So. At the back. Oof. There was a girl who was born milk in a country in West Africa called Guinea. When she was five, she moved to USA. She could not speak until she was about 12. That girl was me. <laughs> it's a true story. This book share my experience how I overcame my speech challenges. I wrote this book to inspire people, especially children who have speech disorder, or for those who cannot speak, or even for those who have a voice but afraid to use it. I want others to understand where I came from and how I did not give up on my dreams. Depend depends begin teased and rejected by others. I hope this book inspires you. Dear reader, you have a voice, use it to inspire others and change the world. So, that is my book is about is how I overcame my speech department, how I got body in my merch year for about 12 years. I could not speak. How, how people call me different names. It's so sad when I was... Once again, that is my sister. Don't mind the back. But anyways, I hope I hope this video is by you guys. I hope you guys go on Amazon and purchase my book. I hope my book gets somewhere. I hope my book inspire others who is on have a speech disorder. Another word, empowerment. So, I'm signing out. So, I decided to be one chapter of my book, but I will not tell you which chapter is it. I will let you guys figure out if you end up buying my book. So, let's get into the first, first page, okay? Okay! So, 
When I was five years old, my family moved from Guinea to USA in the search for a better life and a better education for children. They wanted a better future for us. Growing up, I faced a lot of humiliation. The people in my community did not understand my, dis my disability. They teased me about it. I was not able to speak. My parents was disbelief. Everyone thought I could not never speak again. At age two, I could not say a single word correctly. I would hear others, but I could not respond in the conversation. I would listen to people speak, but I did not know how some was made. I had so much to say, but I kept it to myself for many years. Every time, every week, I go to speech therapy section. The therapist helped me to sound words, even if it was not English. I will play games that will help me learn how to speak. Every day after school, I will go home and watch cartoons because I wanted, I wanted, I wanted to learn how to speak English. Sorry. I will listen to every word that person said. But I could not respond back to them. Kids will always bully me. They made fun of me, call me names like stupid, dumb, and excellent because I was mute. I will always get in trouble with my teachers, and I will all and I was often spent suspended from school. And it just happened. After all of hard work and I effort over the years helped me to my voice my first word after 12 long years god gave me the power to speak it was like another day but i could remember it plenty my family couldn't believe i had my voice my first word i could not believe i swear my first word was mommy i felt like a newborn baby with a new lace on life it was the best day ever. Time went by and my sentence delivered. So guys, this is a little, little, little juice for you guys on my book, but I could not tell you which chapter was it, what page was it. So you guys will have to figure out if you end up getting a book. But anyways, I'm about to sign now. I hope you guys get my book, I hope my book is by you guys so okay guys bye